What's up? What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up? This is Prime Sports Media. I'm coming at you with some common sense facts about recruitment because, of course, we know that there have been some difficulties with CU losing some of these games, and sometimes recruits will decommit from programs for a variety of reasons. And um, Coach Prime, I'm going to show you a footage of Coach Prime breaking down how he feels about young men decommitting. Keep this in mind. Young men are flicko. They change their mind based on universities that they really want to go to, uh, uniforms that they like, stadiums. There's a lot of things that can attract, detract young men and attract young men to these programs. Now, I want to bring up this one right here. This is the this is Winston Watkins Jr., who is the cousin of Sammy Watkins, who played in the NFL, played at Clemson. Remember, he decided that he was going to decommit from CU, and uh, because he believes that in his mind that uh, Coach Prime was not going to remain at the program. Uh, when he gets there in 2025. That's very disappointing for him to feel that way. Uh, because I think this young man would have been a great addition, but like I was saying before, this is the landscape of big-time college recruiting. Players will come and go. Kids will change their mind. And then keep this in mind, there are other young men that may decommit from other schools to come to see you that Coach Prime and CU originally were trying to recruit, those kids may change their mind and flip as well. So when we hear about recruits flipping from CU, there's nothing to fear because this is how recruitment works. Kids will change their mind for a variety of reasons, as you know. One in, in particular is Chandler, the offensive lineman, a young man who uh, originally committed to see you and now he has now changed his mind uh, this uh, is a big offensive lineman this young man right here let me give you some stats on him he's six foot four 295 pounds from Nevada uh, Missouri and had been committed to the Buffalo since February now this young man uh, would have been a good fit for uh, someone like Shador, who def desperately needs more offensive beef on that offensive line to help protect him so that he can make plays down the field. As we know that Shador has been there under a lot of distress this year with the way the team has played on the offensive line, okay? And Shador needs that big beef. Coach Prime needs to bring in that big beef as well uh, so that they can improve not only the passing game with Shador having time, but they need to get this running game off the ground. And you need big, you need the big boys to do that. And this is why Chandler changing his commitment from CU when he went there on, a, on an official visit or unofficial visit there he is in the uniform, looking pretty good there in the uniform, don't you think? Here he is with Coach Prime right here, kicking it on the uh, stool seat, the barbershop chair there. And here he is right here uh, getting in his position as an offensive lineman. Um, hey, I thought that this was, you know, good to go. The young man went there on a visit. You can see him smiling, you know. He, we thought he was coming, and now he's changed his mind. And I know that this comes at a bad timing when CU has just uh, recently lost a very difficult game, as we all witnessed, to Washington State. And we witnessed Shador go out of that game with injury to the arm where it numbed, ankle again bothering him, and we saw him being sacked and hit pretty hard that he had to be taken out of the game. And when that's happening, you need someone big like this that can move around as an offense alignment and move some people around. And so they're not going to get this young man, unfortunately, because he has changed his mind and has decided, and I got to say, <clears throat> unpleasantly, he has decided that he wants to go uh, to Missouri.
I don't like it. You don't like it. One of the things we have to understand is that when it comes to recruitment, you have a lot of these young players who sometimes want to stay at home. They want to stay in state. They may have a favorite team that they enjoy. In this case of this young man, Chandler, he is a big fan of uh, Missouri. So he decided to change his mind. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's really, this is how it works, everybody. Let me just give you a breakdown of what he had to say about why he changed his mind. Right here, this is on his Twitter page or his X page. He says, change of plans. First of all, I would like to say thank you to the University of Colorado and all of the coaching staff for the unbelievable opportunity they gave me and the love they, sh they showed. Coach Prime and the recruitment staff there, and you see him here with Coach Prime right here, okay? The support you showed me and my family was amazing, and I appreciate it. Coach Oboro, I am forever grateful for the opportunity you gave me and the support you have shown. I will always hold CU in a special place in my heart. That's what the young man had to say there. Um, talking about the offensive line coach of CU, which you don't see much criticism of him. I don't know why, as the offensive line has had some, some serious uh, deficits in their play. Here, let me finish out what the young man said right here. With that being said, I have decided to change my commitment in order to accomplish a lifelong dream. The University of Missouri has always been my dream school, and I've never thought I would have the opportunity to stay home. This opportunity was recently offered to me and offered carefully consideration. With careful consideration, I'm in prayer. This is the opportunity that I have to take. I have to take, he says, for me and my family. Uh, this is what the young man is talking about. Now, what that tells me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that they didn't originally, Missouri did not originally recruit uh, Chandler. It looks to me that that was a school that he wanted to go to originally, that he always loved, like he said, but they didn't offer him a scholarship. And then out of the blue, they jump up and offer him a scholarship, according to him. And uh, now he's decided to go with the school that he's always dreamed of playing for because he's going to play at home. And these are the things that do happen in big time college football. So I don't think we should panic. See, I want to say to the buff nation out there, don't panic. There's still opportunity for other recruits that are going to decommit from other schools to come to see you. Coach Prime even said in his press conference that Shador has been getting calls and texts off the hook from other players around the country who are saying that they have a desire, a desire to come to see you and join the team. So we got to give, um, you know, we got to give some uh, claps and some respect to that. I don't think Shador would be lying about something like that. Um, but with that said, this is going to be fair use. Let me let you hear what Coach Prime had to say. He's not phased by this. He knows that this is part of college football. Kids uh, change their mind, they, just like they change their socks. Uh, and he even said, hey, how can you expect young 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds to be committed to a school when sometimes they're not even committed to their girlfriends and things of that nature because young people can be flickle. So Coach Prime made a really good point. This is to let all of you know out there there's nothing to panic about. As Coach Prime said this, and I'm going to put this up here. This is fair use, fair use, fair use for the purpose of criticism, news reporting, critical analysis, parody, and the whole nine-yard fair use. Here is Coach Prime. That's right. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, seems like pretty much no team in the country right now is immune to decommits. Is that kind of also something that you plan for in the back of your head? I'm trying to figure out how to frame this. A kid ain't even faithful to his girlfriend. You think he gonna be faithful be to a, a school? Like, come on, man. Like, that's... that's Did y'all just hear what Coach Prime just said? A kid is not even faithful to their girlfriend. What make you think they're going to be faithful to a school? <laughs> He's absolutely right. 
getting back to it. It's like an emotional thing. You know, what, what I wish the NCAA would do, honestly, uh, if you're committed to somewhere, you can't go to no other visits. I wish that would be. Like, if you commit it, that means you commit it. You can't go to no other visit. So why would you be committed, but you still let kids go to other places? That don't make Whoa. sense. Whoa. Coach Prime makes a very good point there. I want all of you who are watching this video to make a comment in the comment section. Do you think Coach Prime is making a great point? Why is it that these young men can go to schools and then commit to a school and then the NCAA doesn't make them stick with their commitment? They already have the transfer portal, which allows them to change schools. We see that and how effective that can be. But Coach Prime, do you agree with him that the NCAA should make it more rigid for kids once they commit to a school? But this is the thing. This is the thing that Coach Prime has to realize you really don't have a leg to stand on until the kid actually signs the letter of intentment because without the letter of intentment of intent, should I say of intent, all you have is what the young man says to you. And I know word is bond and we should be able to go by people's words, but these kids can change their minds. So I get what coach prime is saying, but I think it all is based on, did they sign a letter of intent? A letter of intent is the, is the big, big. <clears throat> Let's get back to coach prime. I mean, they just play it. They just play it. And one thing about it, we're not an ATM. That's not going to happen here. If you come to Colorado to play football, for me and the Colorado Buffaloes because you really want to yeah, play true. football and receive a wonderful yeah, education true. and all the business stuff is going to be handled on the back end if that's the case. Now, I like what Coach Prime said there. Once again, make a comment in the comment section of this video. Do you agree? He's saying that CU, his program is not going to be used as some type of cash cow where, and I think this is happening when you have the NIL You've got kids going to schools. Are they choosing the actual school or are they just choosing where they're going to get the big money? And maybe, just maybe, I'm speculating here, could it be that he lost these two recruits so far because maybe the honey pot wasn't honey enough for them? I don't know. <laughs> it's simply a speculation because he said that we're not going to just play, play, we're not going to pay players here. You're not going to use us as a cash machine. And here he is again. If you come to Colorado to play football for me and the Colorado Buffaloes because you really want to play football and receive a wonderful education and all the business stuff is going to be handled on the back end if that's the case. But we are not an ATM. You're not coming here to get rich unless you really come here with a plan to go to the NFL and get your degree. Boom. That's telling the truth. So with the NIL, it changes the whole way recruitment goes about. There are going to be some young men that are not going to go to schools because they don't get the honey pot of money that they are looking for. And there are some kids that truly want to go to school, to get an education, to get football, uh, opportunity at a football career in the NFL. And if they're committed, Coach Prime is going to prepare you for that if you're committed. But I wonder how much of that is playing into this. As you can see, Coach Prime, Prime is not panicking. We shouldn't panic. He's telling it like it is. Let's get back to him right here. Not to come here uh, and be money bag yo. Okay? Is that a rapper, right? Yeah. I got that one right. <laughs> I don't even know him, but I, that was a good, good timing of it. All right, we're back at it. We're back at it. So everybody give me your honest opinion in the comment section of this video. Um, another thing, another update that I want to let you all know, this is a recruiting update, but this young man has not decommitted, but there's been a injury that has taken place to a major recruit that CU is very excited to have in coach prime. Um, and that is this young man right here. That's Davis Swain. This young man had an uh, arm injury. And what I want to do is I want to explain to you what happened here. After scoring three touchdowns on offense and being a force on defense, the four-star checked out of the game with a right arm injury. He could only watch as the Southfield A&T 
Isaiah Marshall scored a touchdown as time expired. We're talking about the West Bloomfield playoff run ending in the state semifinals. Davis Sway later posted on X. This is David Sway. Remember him? This young man is a big young man who can play both offense and defense. He's coming to Colorado has not decommitted. So I don't want anybody to think that, but he had an injury. There was an injury on him. From what I understand, he's going to be okay. You see, he's got a cast on, but it is not a career ending injury. It's an injury that he occurred while playing both defense and offense. And he scored two TDs. So his high school team was involved in a semifinals of, I guess their state championship tournament he sustained an injury. I don't know how serious the injury is, but you can see him right here uh, smiling. So to me, if he's smiling like that, it's an injury that's not a career-ending injury, and he'll be ready to go for CU. Let's give him a clap. <laughs> With that said, everybody, make sure you share this video in all of your social media. Let people know about the channel. If you're a content creator, share it in your community tab. Hit the bell notification if you're new to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let people know about the channel. And everybody, let's collectively put our energies together to see a way for CU to beat Utah this upcoming week. Okay, I am going to go live. I am going to open up the panel for people to speak, which I'm looking forward to. But this, uh, this video is about the fact that we don't need to panic Lose a couple of recruits, you gain a couple of recruits. That's the way the game goes. With that said, I'll see you around. Y'all take care. This is Prime Sports Media. Peace.